Hey guys, um, I made a video the other day about Vlad, and I showed that he's um, he's easy to one-shot on turn one with a powerful Tifa. In the video I made, I guess I didn't really make it clear that the Tifa I was using was pretty much maxed out Tifa. She had high LB damage, high demon killer. And a few comments I got said they tried it on global and their Tifa came up short, and if you don't one-shot, the boss does his whole phase change thing, blah blah blah, and it's kind of challenging. So we're going to go back and we're going to do Vlad without using the Tifa joke. We're going to just do a classic team. So we're doing fire and ice damage uh, two times or more in a turn. We're going to kill him with an LB and within 20 turns. Uh, I'm not going to bring a friend because, you know, whatever. We're going to go to five-man team. We're not going to use any STMRs. I am going to use Summer, um, Fina, and Day or Shoreline, Fina, and Daisy. And they are dramatically overpowered as a tank for this trial. I'm using them because I just got them and they're a fun unit. Um, you can very easily use like Cecil or Enhanced Charlotte and whatever. And we're using Summer, Folka, and Citra again because they are a new unit for me. We're going to try them out. They're not critical for this clear. Uh, so anyway, we're not using any STMRs, but I mean these are Neovision units. We've just got some high hit points and spirit on Phazy. We've got just a high spirit on Summer, Folka, and Citra. And some just generic gear, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, no STMRs. This is pretty accessible. Um, Vaughn, the boss is immune to breaks. You don't need a breaker. But we're going to do Hasiko after this in the same video. And I don't like building two teams. We're going to use the same team. So we're going to bring Vaughn for Hasiko. And so he's just here, just like to be here. He's got a fire weapon to hit the boss with fire for the mission. And that's pretty much it. He's passed to provoke evasion. I don't know if it even matters. I don't think it matters. It, whatever. And we're using Rem. She is going to be imbuing ice. So Vaughn's doing fire. Rem's going to do ice. And she'll be just chaining um, some demon killer on the boss. And then Ace chains with Rem. He's using an ice weapon to chain with Rem. And uh, there we go. He's got, you know, whatever. So that's the team. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to, we're going to take it slow. We're going to chain on the boss. We're going to kill him. We're going to finish with an LB. I guess Vaughn is good for finishing with an LB because it's, it's a pretty slow hitting LB. Alright, so I've never used Neovision's Folka and Citra before. I don't have them on the JP server, so I'm going to figure them out as I go. I know we want to do a stat buff on turn. He has too many skills. Wow. We want to do a stat buff. We want to do Devil Deluge for Demon Killer. Um, this is her stat buff. And I don't know what else we want to do. Um, she has break immunity somewhere in her kit. Doesn't she? Yeah, I don't know this unit. So, let me... I have the wiki page open on my other screen. Um, Rippling Waves. Okay, that gives a break immunity. Uh, Vaughn will just hit the boss with fire. Yeah, fire. Done. And then Ace will triple... We're going to triple Bolting Strike with Rem, who will imbue herself. And then triple Bolting Strike. Yeah, whatever. Alright. So we've now done fire and ice on one turn. Alright, Shoreline Fina, we'll cover and we'll, um, Lagoon Shell, whatever. That's a magic mitigation. We don't have general mitigation yet. Uh, I don't, th I don't think we need it, honestly. So the boss does this buff uh, on turn one if you don't one shot him. But, um, you know, it's like whatever. Alright, so I guess Vaughn will just keep hitting with fire. I guess we could technically cap with Vaughn as well, but who cares? Uh, Rem will triple. We're going to go ahead and Seraphim and double Flying Dagger. I guess we'll go ahead and do this first. The boss now has a defense and spirit buff, so he is more bulky. We're almost in phase two, which is nice. Uh, well, triple amusement, we'll do, um, some stuff, I guess, whatever, we'll just do that, we'll, we'll do this, and I guess we'll do this, I suppose, and we will provoke, and, um, I guess we don't want to imbue, do we have LB yet on Phazy? We don't, I should have I should have geared her for LB fill, alright, we'll use healing ripples to fill LB with Phazy, and, um, I guess we'll do this, for a spirit buff. 
Did I just see a 50,000 healing from uh, Citra? It's kind of insane if so. Yeah, so I mean, we're, we're going to take basically no damage with, with Phasey on the team because this, this is a trial designed for a long time ago. And we got broken. Did I not use a defense and spirit break immunity? I, ha I have to learn this unit. Uh, what makes what makes us immune to defense and spirit breaks? You have so many skills in your kit, Soka. Why? I know she has immunity to it. Where is it? Rippling waves does that one. Oh, gleaming sun. Whoops. Okay, so our, our defense, and our hit points, and I mean our hit points, our attack and magic is broken because I didn't use gleaming sun. That was a mistake. Um, but whatever. Not really gonna matter. All right, let's go ahead and push the boss into the next phase with Peta Burst, and we will just chain Rem. Uh, we'll hit the boss with fire again. We'll go ahead and chain. All right, we're in the next phase. Uh, we didn't quite get Phasey's cover, but whatever. We'll just splash right. That's fine. So now she's provoking instead of Vaughn, doesn't really matter. So now we gotta hit the boss with ice and um, ice and fire every turn to stop. We never did general mitigation yet, did we? We still haven't done general mitigation. I haven't just had, had the, the limit burst for it. All right, um, we need to hit him with ice and fire every turn. So we'll go ahead and hit the boss with ice. You can't hurt him right now. So there's no real point in doing anything. Hit him with fire. Um, Ace will just exaburst. And after two turns of that, his shield will go down. Uh, can't we use... Wait, that's magic damage. I think we can use Esper damage to hit the boss and maybe get a crystal for Phasey. Uh, where's your Esper skills? Esper, Esper, we'll just use whatever. Yeah, Esper skills still technically work. And we finally got her LB. It only took like seven turns. Okay, so now we have general mitigation finally. So we should take a lot less damage now. Two more turns of hitting the boss with... with um, no, one more turn of hitting with fire and... Uh, that physical damage is really hurting Faze. She's not geared for physical resist. So um, we're going to go ahead and provoke with Vaughn. So that stops happening. Let's go ahead and double cast. Let's uh, that... And let's provoke with Vaughn so we can stop taking so much damage on Phasey. Um, we'll cover and near its kiss. I think the boss's shield is now down. We've hit him for two turns. Oh no, next turn. Alright, um. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. We want to do a heal, which is High Tide Spirit. We want to do Gleaming Sun for the break immunity, Rippling Waves for the break immunity. That's fine. Okay, so this turn, the boss's shield should go down. The barrier is broken. Uh, now Vaughn is provoking those physical attacks. Yeah, the physical attacks hurt pretty bad. It's better to evade them. I was having Phasey take them, and that's that was painful. Um, okay, so the boss's shield is down. We can burst this turn. We're probably not going to one-shot here, or finish him off here, but we're going to try. So we're going to exa, exa, exa. We will... Uh, let's see. Accelerate Flying Seraphim. Vaughn will do his LB in the hopes that we possibly finish it off here. We're probably going to have to go one more rotation. Yeah, one more rotation. That's not a problem. Okay, uh, let's see. Shoreline, Fina. I guess we will Lagoon Shell and Healing Ripples. Um, Summer Folka. We'll, we just did that. So I guess we'll do Devil... An undead deluge and glamorous wall, I suppose. I don't know. Now, of course, if you were bringing Neovisions DPS or you know an actual friend, you, this fight would be over so much quicker. But we're using you know uh, no STMR seven star DPS. And we're using a powerful tank, but you know Cecil can tank this totally fine. Uh, but the boss is now have a sh he does now have a shield for two more turns. We gotta hit him with fire and ice again for two more turns to make that go away. So we'll just hit fire, ice. We'll just keep hitting with exa. That's not exa. 
Um. Now we're gonna save that. We're gonna save that. Uh. I guess we'll just do this. I don't know. I'm not even sure what I'm doing with Summer, Fina, and. or Phasey, whatever. Uh, is your LB ready? It's not. I really should have geared her for auto LB fill. That was a big mistake, not doing that. I guess special sun bath? I don't know. That imbues us with holies. We're gonna have to imperil the boss to holy as well, but it's fine. We'll just do that in a second. Alright, there's. Oh, Vaughn should be provoking again. Yeah, I should provoke with Vaughn. I'll do that in a second. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and hit the boss with fire, and we're gonna provoke with Vaughn. Um. We imbued our team with Holy using Phazy, so we're gonna go ahead and imperil the boss to Holy to fix, make it do more damage. Um, let's Devil Deluge and Gleaming Sun, I guess. Uh, the boss's shield is up, so we'll do that. Uh, healing Ripples and Rip Sonar, I guess. I don't know. Alright, the barrier is gone, so we can finish him off next turn. Vaughn's LB is good to go again, so we're good. All missions. Alright, let's LB with you. Let's have Rem do Accelerate, Flying, and Seraphim is not available. That's fine. And Ace will chain with Exa, so we will chain these, do this, and I guess we'll do this as well. I'm not sure the timing on Volca's LB. Never used it. Okay. Well, oh, oh, well, there's... Wow. I've never even seen it. Apparently they fly in a wave. <laughs> anyway, I ship it all missions. Kill it in LB. We did it in 20 turns. We did it... We did fire and ice every single turn of the entire fight. So there you go. Pretty straightforward. If you can't, can't one-shot, you know, do it the slow way. It takes... It took, what, five minutes? Maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, but that should have been fine. And that was my first clear as well. Yeah, give me those keys that no one even uses. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and pop over to Hasiko and see how that's going. We haven't seen her since Halloween, I think. Last year, I think. I don't know. Hasiko came back plenty of times, and she's back again. Uh, we've got... I'm on. Shadows of Ruination. It's probably easy. I don't know. No LBs, no items, evoke an Esper. Okay, seems easy enough. Um, we're not going to bring a friend, because why not? I forgot this fight. I don't know what he does. What she does. You know what we should do is... Oh, we're not going to use LBs, though. Uh, we have no general mitigation. It shouldn't matter. Actually, you know who can do general mitigation is Rem. Rem has general mitigation. Yeah, we're good. Rem, Rem can do general mitigation. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, I already forgot the missions. Oh my god. Um, what were the missions again? No LBs, no items. Okay, that's easy. Oh yeah, we just gotta evoke something. Not a problem. Alright. Oh, the Mana Drain! That's Hasiko's signature move, isn't it? Yeah. Oh jeez, and we're petrified. Uh-oh. Oh my god, can we even cure that? <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. Can anyone even cure Petrify in this team without items? Oh, no. Oh, we, we can. Oh, we gotta break the boss, don't we, though? I did not come to this fight prepared. Okay, uh... And what is, what is, what is up with Rem? Why is... She's not Petrified. Why is she... Why can't I... Why can't I use Rem? Rem, hello? Why can't I use Rem? She's not petrified. Wh whatever. I don't know. Maybe she really is Maybe it's like a glitch. Maybe she's really is petrified. I'll fix her in a second. Okay. Uh, let's cover. And I guess mitigate? Um, we need mana regen. So let's... Uh, restore MP. That works. Let's restore MP... Let's do a barrier. We gotta summon an Esper at some point. Let's do a stat buff. Uh, we can't use LBs, so Vaughn cannot do that. Let's go ahead and just 
break the boss. You know, let's let's do Mirage too. Yeah, let's let's Mirage. Let's break the boss and let's provoke. Okay, that seems fine. Uh, we'll, we'll cure next turn with Vaughn. All right. Okay, um, Vaughn can cure without using items. Okay, Rem is unpetrified now. Well, that's good. I don't, I don't know what the deal with Rem was. That was weird. Uh, let's go ahead and make us immune to everything so that doesn't happen again. Let's immune, immune. We need this. Um, I'd like to get an Esper here. Ace... Uh, I guess Ace will just single cast burst for bolting, and we'll just single cast imbue for these. And we need to get an Esper. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Did they? She, did she really just die literally instantly? Oh wait, battle one out of two. So we can summon an Esper. This is the. This is giving me more problems than Vlad was. Are you kidding me? Oh, there, there, there! I can't freaking click an Esper. Okay, fine, whatever. We're going for the next fight. All right, so he's Zico again. Is she gonna petrify me again? Oh, of course. That goes to. Oh, we're confused now. Oh, jeez. What is going on here? Um, okay, this is fun. <laughs> uh, we have cover already, so we're going to go ahead and healing ripples for the MP fill. And I guess... Doesn't that fill MP? Or I feel, I feel it's MP over time, doesn't it? Alright, we need to summon an Esper, so here, that, that's now done. Mission complete. Perfect. So now we've got to kill this guy. Um, we need to cure confusion on Ace. Oh, we got mana now, so that's good. Oh, Vaughn doesn't. Wow. Oh, jeez, don't kill him. Alright, we can't LB. Oh, we're petrified again, really? We're petrified, and stupid Vaughn has the cure. Okay, so hold on. Can, can Folker really not cure ailments? Let me see. Ailments cure. Oh, she can cure. All it's her Magnus. Perfect. Perfect. Where are we at? That cures ailments. Let's make us immune to everything so it doesn't. Is it, seriously? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Alright. Alright. It's, it's fine. We're fine. Let's cure ailments. Which one of these cures make us petrify immune? Um, petrify immunity is Gleaming Sun. And then we'll evocation damage to her. We got we got this. We got this. Alright. Um So I'm assuming she's gonna die instantly again, so we're we're good. We're good. Let's bolting three times. Let's uh actually let's chaos wave awaken, because it's AoE. So let's do AoE and then we'll chaos wave awaken with, with Ace. Um, let's try this. Oh, laggy. Okay, she's not dying instantly, and the boss is... Why is the chain breaking? Did I do the wrong skill? Oh, okay, that worked. Okay, that was fine. That was fine. Not a problem. We got this. Should have been all missions. I hope so. That was 40 energy. I didn't want to retreat and do that again. Ah, yeah, we got this. No problem. Okay, so there was Vlad and Hasiko using, uh, you know, a random team. No friend. No STMRs. We did use Daisy, which is, you know, overpowered as 
all can be. But uh, it worked out pretty well. Okay, so tips if you're doing Hasiko. Uh, status immunity, big deal. Definitely do status immunity. I forgot about the mana drain, so you want to do Sylvie on the team to fix your mana problems, or Folka. The original Folka. That would have been good to fix mana problems. Yeah, she didn't really deal any damage, so Hasiko did like no damage. Uh, just the mana drain and those status effects were a big problem. But uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to Shiva and Golem later tonight. Anyway, see you guys later.